So as we continue our series of videos on LED strips, something he still calls lead tape, today we're going to look at the do's and don'ts of cutting LED strip. Yeah. Or oh, some people even call it LED ribbon, Gary. An LED ribbon. Okay then, so we're going to cut it. That's yeah, what we are going to do. The ribbon. Okay. We're going to cut the ribbon. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to get straight in and I'm going to do what you shouldn't do and I don't suggest you try this yourself. So here's my LED You're gonna cut it live. tape. I'm going to cut it live. It's only 24 volts, so I'm not liable to do okay. that. Let's we'll we'll see what happens. To so before you cut it, you're cutting it to the length required to fit maybe the profile or the dimensions that you need. Yeah. So exactly where you want to cut it. Exactly where I want to cut it. So okay. I'm thinking, well, I need this at 280 millimeters. Oops. Okay, it's all right. Oh, so we've, got, we've got three there not working. It's the right length. It's the right length. But you've got three LEDs now that don't work. Yeah, and there's a slight burning smell in the room. <laughs> okay. Right, <I've> cut through. <laughs> yeah. So that's that obviously an issue. If I wanted to cut something at say, I don't know, 750 mil, and I could only cut it you know, where I needed to cut it, you've now got three LEDs that don't work. Yeah, so the advice, LED strip, LED tape, comes with some defined cut points. LED ribbon as well. Yeah, and okay. people normally, first mistake people make, not read the instructions and just cut it where they want, and you find out that you lose three LEDs out of your strip. However, you know, at least it still works. Still okay, works. Still yeah. works, but we've, we've lost three of those. Okay, so that, that's obviously, we've got to overcome that problem. So how are we going to overcome that problem, Gordon? We're going to overcome the problem. So let's look at a practical example. So we've cut this piece of LED extrusion, or as he would call LED profile. And here's some LED strip, tape, oh. ribbon. Okay, that we're, going to, we, we're going to cut this one as well. Uh, we're going to cut this one here. Okay. So let's see, 650 mil, this is 700 mil length, the cut points are 100 millimeters apart. Ah, so we've got, we've got a 50 mil problem there. Yeah, so I can only cut it shorter. Okay, so we're, we're gonna cut it shorter. So I'm gonna cut it right in the middle of the cut point, okay, which yeah. also is where the connection points are. So that's where we soldered to in a previous video and use our insulation displacement connectors as exactly. well. Exactly, yeah? so okay. I'll just cut through there. Okay, so it's not long enough now. So it's not long enough. So now you've got a choice. <laughs> Either you put it at the end and end up with a big dark patch, so, so but you'd probably uh, right. centralise it. So we, we, we may have a little spot here and a little spot at each end where we haven't got the light that we were expecting because we've had to cut it at the cut point. And that cut point meant that we had to cut our, was it, did you say that was 700 mil and we wanted 650? Yeah. So we've now got that down to 600 mil, 50 mil gap shared across the two ends. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's the compromise you have to make, I understand. Now that might be fine in lots of applications, especially where the light's gone quite a distance or in a, in a corner so around a room shining up with a ceiling. Okay. You probably won't see that. But if you're in something where you're close up and you absolutely need light to the end of the profile, if you've got a diffuser on there and you want light right to the end, so like a bootcase or some of the cupboard you're lighting where people can see the strip, yeah. you, you'll probably want light right to the end. Okay, so are you going to remanufacture the uh, piece of bookcase to make the LED strip, or you got another solution for us? An idea, and the solution is uh, from this Osram range here. You can also get a short pitch okay. LED so, tape. So does that mean there's more LEDs in that space? Yeah. So when you buy LED tape strip ribbon, you'll see that it has a, normally a specified numbers of LEDs per meter. Right. And this one, short pitch, has more LEDs per meter. And interesting to note, so this is 24 volt LED strip yeah there are six leds between each cut point okay and the one you started with first of all what had volt? six but they were further apart so half the number of leds and what voltage meter. was that one again 24 volts okay yeah fine so i would always say in most cases 24 volt tape is more efficient than 12 volt led tape right and we'll look at that in another video because there's okay. some other complexities to look at there so we've got more LEDs and therefore our cut points are now 50 mil apart. Is that true? 50 mil apart, ah, yeah. So we're in a good place now because you told me originally this is 650 mil long. Yeah. So we should find that a cut point is, that's perfect. I'll line that up there. Yeah, I've got my cut point there. Uh, so I'll go straight in. Okay. Cut that. Lovely. Okay. Well done. Now I'll connect the end up. We'll use some of those, uh, we'll use the IDC connector we used just in a previous video. Be careful not to squeeze them together. No, just keep them together, just peel the, yeah, don't, um, yeah, that's a good tip right Yeah, yeah that is. Please to remember that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to stick it down. So we're going to put the, we're going to put the insulation displacement connector on first. Yeah. Okay. 
good eyes there. I'm glad you're doing it and not me. So we're sliding that one in. Sliding that one in. You got it in? Again, just, yeah, press and through. Press it, and, we, and that's it. Is it done? Yeah, I'll well, we'll know in a minute when we, when we liven it up. Well, I'll, I'll put it in the tape first. Oh, in great. the extrusion first. Okay, profile. Profile. So you're sticking the profile. So you're going to go try and go bang in the middle of the profile? Yeah. But I'm that confident. Remember from a previous video that the profile or extrusion, whatever you want to call it, is actually helping the LEDs with their temperature management. And also when we stuck it to a wooden surface, we also helped manage its temperature. But it's worth checking out that video because we also left it in free air. And it's very interesting to see what happens to the temperature and how quickly it can rise where LED strip is left off a surface, which effectively is working as a heat sink. So I would recommend you check out the video in the eye above our heads. So I'll just now, okay. right. So we're ready to go, are we? Right, Moment power. of truth. Power it up. So it's exactly the right length. It's exactly okay, the right you've length. cut it in halfway through the cut point, and lo and behold, all the LEDs have now illuminated. Yeah. So I put our diffuser on. Okay. And there we go. We've got even illumination so for the away. entire length of the strip. Okay. Yeah, that's that's good. And we used more leds and what did you say what was the pitch called on that just a short pitch short pitch yeah okay and that gives you a little bit more flexibility in, in the distance between cuts making it 50 mil is 50 mil the standard shortest position between cuts uh no it depends on the depends on the manufacturer of the tape so then gordon just remind us then of those top tips when cutting led strip okay top tip cut here <laughs> not anywhere in between here so stick to the connection points which are also the cut points sometimes they're marked sometimes they're not and read the instructions before you start. There's plenty of other videos in this series of LED strips, so if you haven't already checked those out, please look in the description below or the eye above our heads or the end card in order to catch up with the other videos in this series. And look out for more videos in the future on LED strip.